Look at that snake print. Oh, so good. Hi guys, so I am back again with another video. I actually can't believe, I'm actually shocking myself that I have another video up. But fingers crossed, I will keep this going and keep this consistent. For this video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite ankle boots that I'm reaching for this season. Oh my God, look at these. smelling them I'm just breathing in and out these are by Steve Madden and they're called the Jack boots and I fell in love with these boots I originally wanted the Dries van Noten boots I'll try and insert a picture of those so you can see what they look like but then I came across these and these ticked off every single box that I want first of all velvet and it's just such a, it's just such a gorgeous velvet. Like the color, it's just like the perfect, it's the perfect wine sort of color. And the heel, I loved that block heel and it slightly flares out at the bottom, which I love. And then it's got this pointed toe, which I think is just fantastic. It's just insane. But it's just that combination of that flared heel and that pointed toe, which I think is just so flattering on everybody these days. And I say that because You've got like the slim, the slim ankle here. So it really hugs your leg and it kind of elongates because of that pointed toe. And then you've got no wobble factor on the streets because it's just such a solid block heel. To me, this is an absolute win-win on all levels. And I've been wearing it on my Instagram and I'm still gonna keep wearing it on my Instagram because I think they're fantastic. And yeah. I get people ask me about them, like when I show them pictures of them or I'm wearing them, they're saying, oh, where did you get those boots? And I tell them, they're going, really? They do, to me, these run true to size to slightly big. I usually wear a US 10 or sometimes 11, depending on the brand. And these are a US 10. And I actually thought to myself, you know what? They're not gonna fit me. Cause I don't know, I just always, <sighs> Big, big feet girls help me out here. You know what I mean. Sometimes it's just so hard to find the shoe that you want in your size. And I just thought, you know what? I love these so much. These won't fit. I just know it. Cause they only went up to a size 10. But I went into the store, they had a size 10 and I'm talking to myself going, you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna fit. They're not gonna fit. Win, win, win. I'm gonna link to them below. Cause I honestly think that you should get these. And, and I honestly mean that. Of all the boots I'm gonna show you, these are my number one favorites for this season. Okay, so here's the next thing. Zara, Zara, Zara! <laughs> I love them. They are pure 90s grunge, aren't they? I mean, look at that. Look at that. You know what? It's the little things that make a boot right, isn't it? So for me, it's, it's all about this tall, slim ankle right here i love that when you slip your foot in and this just just goes you know it just closes up it's like putting a sock on your foot it just goes in here and to me that is so flattering it's got that little platform but the platform is not too big and it's you know so it's a wearable platform and the heel it's a little bit more modern because it's actually slim on the sides can you see that i've been wearing these with cropped jeans because this is the kind of shoe that or boot rather that I think the whole thing needs to just show you know what good tip get a pair of flared jeans that you already have if they're high-waisted maybe even better if you like high-waisted and it flatters you and just cut them get that look yourself at home and then just take don't finish it obviously leave it as that unfinished hem and there you go you've got that look already I shot someone in New York and she was actually wearing that and she did it herself because I said oh I love your jeans they're gorgeous where did you get them and she told me oh are the old flared jeans I had at home and I just cropped them I just cut them myself and they looked fantastic if I can find the, the picture I'm going to insert it here so you can see so there you go Bob's your uncle you've got in on the trend without really spending anything but anyway yeah 90s grunge all the way they run true to size I mean like I said I am a 
a US 10 slash 11 depending on the brand and these are a 41 and they fit perfectly so I like these and I reckon these aren't going anywhere I don't care you know what goes in what goes out I feel like this kind of shoe is just going to stay around these are a dead ringer though for the Vetements. I think they're called that, how do you pronounce it is it Vetement? anyway they're a good sort of ringer for those I reckon Chop Pop does sales every so once in a while and I caved on their last sale and I got these free people boots. Oh, look at those. Look at that snake print. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yes, yes, I, oh, I love these. <laughs> I, I can't, it's really weird doing these videos because it's like, I love everything, but I sort of do in a weird way. Anyway, just, bear with me it's how I am it's a block heel but it's wearable isn't it so let me just see if I can go in so you can see the pattern a little bit better is it gonna focus yeah there you go so yeah look at that I think they're absolutely beautiful and again that toe rounded but sort of a narrow rounded toe and that slim ankle again same thing so to me these are, are really really flattering this to me is a kind of shoe that you want to just the whole thing or boot rather to show so i'd wear them again with like cropped flared jeans or just cropped skinny jeans you could also wear these with skirts because i think that the height is is nice enough or is wearable enough so you can wear a midi skirt or even a shorter skirt and just wear some tights with it and maybe a long coat over it i think that would probably look good together actually to be honest with you, I would have bought them if they were full price because they are as comfortable as a pair of slippers. And I am not kidding you. If you don't believe me, go onto the links below because I'll link to where I found them online and read the comments about them. Read the reviews because I like how it looks against my black polo, my turtleneck right now. I think this looks so good together. So just wear just very plain, solid, coloured clothes and bung these on. And that's your statement. Yeah, great. Love those. I will pick an oldie but a goodie. These are the Balenciaga Centauri, Centauri or Centur, Century. I don't know. You know the ones, these, the, the cutout boots. I have had these for about three years-ish or so. And I still, still love them. Sod the trend, sod the sort of, you know, Oh, they were in then and now they're not now. To me, I just, oh. I love these boots. Um, I originally had these in, they came in like different types of metal. Like they came in like a gun metal and I ended up switching out to these ones. I sold those and I got these. I wanted the gold and I love the gold on these. Look at that. And it's also got silver here. So it's a mix of gold and silver but the gold is what really catches my eye the most. I love black and gold together. I love that in my bags as well. Black and gold is my favorite. I mean, the belt I'm wearing, you know, there's a theme. I love that color combination. I am one of those who have not had any issues with the comfort of these. I know that there have been other people who have said that the heels, the back of them, it wears and it just gives them blisters. I must have been blessed by the foot gods when I got these because they do not give me any issues and I think they're fantastic. Them. I don't post them too much on my social media, but I am still wearing these boots because I still love these boots. They also come out now in different colors, I've noticed, because I was in Barney's the other day and I saw they have like a purple or is it a red? It's like a red purple color. I forget which one it is. If I can see a picture of it online, I'm gonna insert it here, but, um, those were cool but i didn't they didn't make my heart sing and i wouldn't get those anyway because i think the black and the gold is this is where it's at these boots i got from the coach 1941 collection I, look at that if there is a combination of a boot that looks vintage but granny like a granny boot it's these it's it's absolutely these and this heel that just makes it doesn't it so yeah when i saw those it was a case of my eyes literally popped out of their sockets and i went i have to have those 
they showed these on models and they showed them in all these different colors they had a metallic blue which i think is still online they had a pewter silver i think that's still online i'll link everything to you for you below um and i had this color as well and i think there was another one like a red or a fuchsia metallic i ended up choosing these ones though i think these are the most sort of bang for your buck in terms of your wear i think these will look brilliant 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 with skirts and a pair of tights and you're good to go comfort factor i want to give it like a mm, i don't know like a nine and a half out of ten actually they're quite good a little bit weird getting into at the beginning but apart from that they're fantastic all right so i'm going to show you now these absolutely statement boots i'm just zipping up the back i found these in top shop and they remind me of saint laurent look those oh god they have like this fuchsia, they're not glitter, it's more like a foil. Let's see if I can. So I saw these and I slipped them on and I swear you feel like an effing rock star when you wear these boots. That is how good they look on your foot. And you know what the best part is? Let me see if I could just show you. I don't have to say it. Focus camera. Oh, almost. Can you see the price? Oh. $65. $65. Last year, I was, my mouth was like drooling over the Saint Laurent version of these. I thought they were just absolutely fantastic, like a modern Cinderella gone punk. Sometimes you're really glad that you just wait and just don't get something. And I am so glad I didn't cave on the Saint Laurent and I waited and, and these just came along. You know when you stop looking, things happen? Well, yeah it happens with shopping as well these are fantastic and 65 i mean 65 dollars you cannot go wrong look at these red suede again that sort of mod 60s shape flared block heel that little almond toe i think that's what you call it almond shaped toe and it's just this gorgeous fire red whoop yeah that yeah that is that is how they look in person. Look at that shape. It's just oh. very mod 60s. These look fantastic with skirts, they really do. And they also look equally good with a pair of jeans. I'll insert a picture of me wearing them. Here's another one of my favorite boots. These are the Yves Saint Laurent men's Johnny boots. They are leopard print and pony skin got these about ooh, a good six years ago these are hands down my favorite leopard print boots so these are my classic Chloe Susanna boots these aren't going anywhere these have been reviewed so many times on so many platforms so I'm not going to sort of add to that but I will just say that I've had these for about three years now and I feel like they just get better and better the more that you wear them. Now they're getting that really cool slouchy look because they've been worn a lot over the years. Every time I wear them, I always thank God that I bought them. They're the classic black leather with the old sort of brass gold hardware throughout. And I feel like these are something that's just going to stand the test of time and that I will always keep in my wardrobe regardless of what comes in or out. That is my roundup of my favorite ankle boots at the moment. I'll link everything, like I said, that I can below. Let me know what you think of this uh, selection and let me know what your favorite ankle boots are. I'd love to see. Wow, I did a second video in the week. Who? Oh, what's going on with me? Fingers crossed, like I said, I will be doing more. I will see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you want me to do some more. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, Twitter or on my blog. But I think Instagram and Snapchat are the places that I tend to sort of hang out the most. So feel free to join me there. And that's it. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Those. Steve Madden burgundy boots. Yes! <laughs> so I'd probably go for like a midi skirt with these. Like a black midi skirt would look really good with these, wouldn't they? Or even like all white. Or creams! Creams with these would look really... Oh God, I need to stop.